Hey guys, just real quick, I want to show you how to compile, or rather cross compile, DSOAL to use it on Linux with Wine. Um, now, DSOAL is a DLL file that you can use to restore surround sound functionality in older games like Fear or Duke Nukem Manhattan Project um, that used to work under XP but then stopped working with Windows Vista because that introduced a new sound architecture. To begin with, of course, the very first thing we need to do is uh, to just grab the build files from DSOIL. So we just go to github.com slash kcat slash DSOIL and we click on code and download zip. And then we unzip that on our computer. I've already done that, so um, I'm going to get a DSOIL master directory and this is it, right? Since we're on Linux here, this is Linux Mint 21, and we want to use a, or we want to create a Windows compatible DLL that we can then use in Wine, we cannot just compile. What we need to do is we need to cross compile. So basically, we're compiling, but we're compiling for a different operating system than the one we're currently running. I added, I opened a support thread in uh, KCAT's DSOIL. GitHub and uh, it's not issue 56. I'm going to put the link to it in the description of this video. And here, um, some guys walk me through this very helpfully and very patiently, I might add, um, step by step to get this set up and to get it working. And now I want to show you how it's done. So before you can start compiling on Linux in the first place, you need a couple of packages. In this case, uh, what we're going to need is Build Essential. We need to install Build Essential, which is, well, pretty much just the essential packages that you need to build something, to compile something on Linux. You need to install CMake. Um, I'm not sure actually um, if it comes with Build Essential. Uh, I believe when I set up the system, I installed both. So you just grab CMake. You could also grab CMake QTGUI, which is a graphical user interface for CMake. Uh, at the beginning, I used that, but then uh, at this point, I'm just using the command line anyway. And you're going to have to install Minji W64. So if you grab this package here, GCC Minji W64, um, it's probably going to auto select all of these others um, to install alongside. By the way, this is Synaptic Package Manager. You can also use your Distributions Package Manager, whatever it is, software or whatever it's called, to install the same stuff. Now, um, we have all of these installed, but we have one thing that's still missing. We're going to need a cross-compile file, which is going to tell the compiler what operating system to compile for. Luckily, KCAT actually has one on his GitHub, so if I open this link here in, the, in this comment from 16th of June 2022, I'm going to get this file. So you just need to grab all this stuff, Control c and then just paste it in an editor and save it in your build directory, uh, DSOIL master, and uh, right here as xcompile.txt. I've already done this, that's why it's already here, uh, but yeah, that's what you need. Now at the top of that file you get an example command that shows you how to cross compile. You're going to need to type cmake then two dots because you are in the build directory but the source files are going to be in the parent directory so that's why the two dots. And then uh, you want to specify the tool chain file which is also in the parent directory slash xcompile.txt and you want to create uh, give it a dhost parameter which tells it if it wants to if you want to compile for a 32 bit or a 64 bit target and this one here i686 w64 min gw32 is a 32 bit target and uh, for a 64 bit target um you could use this parameter right here so let's try this right now we're going to i'm just going to copy and paste this so this is the command and uh, it tells us that the toolchain file is here, that the source files are in the parent folder and we want to compile for a 32-bit target. Now we do this, it does your configuration for you and tells you that the build files have been written to this folder. So if we look at the file manager, we can see here that the files are all here. Now the only other thing I need to do is type make and it's going to start to do that. I'm going to skip this and here you go build target d sound so we are now here 
with a fresh dsound.dll. This is a 32-bit dsound.dll, and if we want the same thing but in 64-bit, then we just change this to uh, x86, 64, yada yada. In that way, hmm, wait. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Uh, sometimes you want to delete your previous files. You want to delete that, uh, those build files and do the same thing again CMake and now it's gonna set up the build files for the 64-bit version and then again we type make and here we are we have uh, dsound.dll and this one is 64 bits so that's it um, we've created that for those files now to use this in Duke Nukem Manhattan project what we want is to just go to GNMP folder and then we grab this file for Manhattan Project, we're going to need this 32-bit version, and then we paste this in here, and we're going to need uh, alongside it this dsoil drive.dll file. We're going to where are we going to get that? We go to openalsoft.org, and we download the latest binaries. I'm going to have this here in a moment binaries and then we go to the bin folder and win32 and we're gonna find that soft underscore oil dot dll this file and we just rename that to this right dsol l drive dot dll and then we just paste this file in here and then we have our dsound dot dll and our dsol file and this way dsol is gonna bring 5.1 or 7.1 or what have you surround sound to your old video games. Bye.